Okay, in this video we're going to be talking about how to change the shutter speed of the two different kinds of cameras we have in this class. On the left you see a Nikon D7000, on the right you see a Nikon D3200. I'm going to show you how to change the shutter speed on both of those. Let's get started. With the Nikon D3200 and learn how to change the shutter speed on that camera, you can see the first thing we want to do is put our mode wheel on the letter S. That S stands for shutter priority, and that means that we will tell the camera what shutter speed we want to use, and the camera will figure out everything else for us. So we've got the mode wheel on S, we've got the camera turned on, we're ready to go. Let's take a look at how we change the shutter speed now. Okay, so now what we need to do to actually change the shutter speed is, first thing we need to do is make sure this screen right here is turned on. There's a couple different ways to do that, but the easiest way in my opinion is just to press the shutter release here up on the top of the camera. That's this button right here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to tap it and let it go. You do not need to hold it down. So you can see with it tapped, the screen came back on, and as long as we make some changes, the screen will stay on. But as soon as we, if we don't do anything, you can see the screen turns back off. So I'm going to tap the shutter release again, turn that back on. And I can you see this dial right here? I know it's kind of dark, but there's a dial right here on the back of the camera that if we turn it, the shutter speed changes. So this is our shutter speed right here. Right now it's set to 1 over 50. And if I turn this dial, my shutter speed changes. So if I wanted to have a shutter speed of 1 eighth of a second, I would turn it to the left until it goes down to 1 eighth. Or if we need a shutter speed of 1 1 thousandth of a second, I'll turn it to the right until it goes up to 1 1 thousandth. So you'll notice to the right will give us a faster shutter speed, and to the left will give us a slower shutter speed. And that's it, guys. That's how we change the shutter speed on the D3200. D7000 changes almost in the exact same way. We've got our mode wheel on the letter S. We've got our camera turned on. Well, this time we're going to look at this window at the top of the camera. And you'll notice there's no numbers right there. Well, that's the equivalent of the screen being turned off on the D3200. It means the camera has gone to sleep. So what we need to do is just tap the shutter release again, and those numbers are going to show up. You can see right now my shutter speed is set to 1 over 60 at F9. The difference is these ones show up a little bit differently. They don't show the 1 over. They just show a 60. They also use a lowercase 0, which I don't really understand, but they do. So this shutter speed right now is set to 1 60th of a second. To change it, there's a little dial right here on the back, just like on the D3200. If I turn it to the left, it gives me a slower shutter speed. See, I'm down to 15, 1 8th of a second, 1 4th of a second. If I turn it to the right, it gives me a faster shutter speed. And I can go all the way up to 1 8,000th of a second, which is really, really fast. So that's how you change the shutter speed on the D7000s. Hey guys, that's how you change the shutter speed on the two different cameras we have in this class. Remember, the key is to tap the shutter release to wake up the camera, to turn the dial before the camera goes back to sleep, the dial on the back of the camera, and turn it to the right for a faster shutter speed, turn it to the left for a slower shutter speed, and that's pretty much everything you need to know.